Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress. We're returning to Avedon finally! Do you think we're gonna get a welcome home party or do you think. Uh, okay. Party's gone. And there's blood. Right! This is gonna be fun. You stagger away from the platform, barely able to remain standing. Something about this journey makes it far worse than previous times you used the pylons. Finally, you sense your senses start to return to you. You look around, only to find that you are alone. Your companions have gone missing. You look back at the portal. The nimbus of power that surrounds it is faded and flickering. That might explain the difficulty of the journey. Then you hear something to the west, an explosion, then screaming, then the sounds of fighting. The smell of smoke is heavy in the air, and the guards are gone. The floor under your feet vibrates from distant impact. Something has gone very wrong here. Avedon is under attack. Well, it's weird. I'll grant you. Wish I'd known that this was going to happen. But okay. Something didn't... Uh, there's enemies or friends there. As you walk around the corner, the gate to the south, which leads to the barracks, is open. Three Avedon guards run through it. The weapons are down and their armors crash and scorch. They are fleeing for their lives. Moments later, several more warriors pass on the open gate, chasing them. They wear the grab of garb of shadow walkers. Black masks obscuring the faces, and yet they don't move like shadow walkers, and the weapons are wrong. The blades of their pursuers are drawn and stained with blood. They pursue the guards of Avedon with silent, deadly purpose. Are they from the Taiwan Empire? Sup, dark assassins. I shall stop you here. Bam. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> that does tend to happen where, you know, when you're stuck alone, the game does tend to take that into account and make the enemy slightly uh, easier. So, you know. Well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used the physical attack, eh? Maybe. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's that's enough out of you. Immune! My goodness. Um. Surprises. Everywhere. Do I have another area of effect attack? No. This is gonna be fun. Alright, one at a time. At least they can't crowd control me, because I'm pretty dope at that. I hate using an, a turn to do this. I might actually die here. I'm going to die. Because my um, abilities got blocked. Hold on. Auto save. Sure. Let's redo this. I, I was going to die, by the way. There's no questioning that I was going to die. Was not prepared, but you know. Oh wait. <laughs> I thought I was in Castle of a Bow because it said Castle of a Bow, you know? Apparently I'm not. Yes, I know there are people here. Question marks all over their uh heads. Um Maybe I should frenzy myself. Could help, you know? It really could help. What helps even more is using abilities that actually damage them. Not good enough? Oh my. I expected that to be good enough, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm dazed. That usually doesn't happen, and I'm dazed for f more than one turn. I'm gonna need to battle friends myself. Oh, I get a turn. Isn't that... Are you immune to this as well? It's not quite the same element. Close enough though, apparently. Well, I'm dead again. Wow! A mage is actually ill-equipped to deal with this. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna need... Battle Frenzy, yeah. Maybe I have consumables for area of effect elemental damage. Hi. Alright, frenzy yourself. Oh, one of them didn't come. So that ain't good. Um, fuck! I don't want to use that! 
I keep pressing A to close a stupid menu. I, I do that all the time. It bothers me. Um, what do I have for consumables? Oh, well, that's interesting. That's also interesting. Let's use it. Roar. Really? That's nothing. God damn it. Kill one at least. There we go. Just don't crowd control me and I'm gonna be fine. Because I can kill two of them. Not one of them's terrified so I don't have to deal with them. Yeah, everything's fine. Well, fine is relative, of course, but I should be fine. My... Mm, you better not die. You were fine. Closer than I wanted it to be. So the scroll of fire was kind of useless. Please just heal. Please just heal. Almost done. Is that the librarian lady? To whom I was giving um, scrolls. I'm guessing you're intended to go where you've never been before, which is here. Because you're intended to go, what the hell went on here? Good question. Do I want to deal with them? I mean, sure. I got this. Um, there are more than a few, though. And I did not save. Time to frenzy in advance. Because they are coming. Ow. More, of course. They're very spread out. And I don't like that. I finish this one. Maybe I should quick save after every encounter because those are tough. Those do a lot of damage. Uh, you know what? I think it helps. 30% resistance to all damage types. That includes physical. Pretty sure it helps. Cultist this is assassin. Um, gonna do some area of effect damage. Uh, not good enough. That should help. Not good enough as well. I have bigger ones and I should use those. Hmm. Oh, there's frenzy right here. Uh, I'm gonna need that. Okay, that's not good enough. I want this right here because that makes sense. I want to use one of those and then I want to kill one of you guys, but I can't. I'm gonna try to anyway. Good! Oh, I reposted. Apparently. Um, do you think the cultist is... Um, they's resisted? Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, time to get frenzied again. Since that's my only recall. Really? Oh, you didn't crit. Dang it. More! Great. Exactly what I needed. More of them. <laughs> Alright, I can take a little more of this. Let's do some elemental damage because that does more damage than the physical one, I think. Killed ya. Uh, I don't think I can kill any of them. Let's try anyway. Nope, a crit might have done it though. Please don't kill me. No. Okay, we live. 
surprisingly, we live. I did not expect that. Frenzy is absolutely necessary. Holy crap. I'm frenzied! The heck? Was I moving slowly or something? I have 13 AP. I don't know what's up with that. Um, okay, this is coming back real soon. Good news. Uh, I don't need that. I could teleport. I don't think it's particularly useful. I'd rather just kill someone with a double attack to them. They're already on top of me. I don't think teleporting is going to do much. Oh, I took a potion. That's what happened. I'm going to have to do that again, actually. Um, this spell is my main damage source because they're immune to goddamn acid. That's a bit of an oversight. I mean, it makes sense, but it, when you're designing this game, please keep in mind that you could be stuck here with an actual mage type. They can't deal with your shit very effectively. I'm surprised I have so far. I'm actually just going to group heal because you scare me. Don't slow me down. Oh my god. I'm not I'm I'm not frenzied anymore for starters and I'm slowed. I'm going to frenzy myself. Cuz I think even slow cannot stop me from completely taking completely stop me from taking a turn when I'm frenzied. Um actually physical. It might do less damage to him, but it's probably going to do more damage to him. Or not. Whatever. He's dead. My god. Okay, the Scarab that makes me um, be able to frenzy myself is essential, absolutely essential. Okay, this is um, this is gonna be a thing. Quick save, yes. Do not want to die and have to do the entire entrance again. What's going on over here? Just one lockpick might be worth. It is. Some interesting potions. Speed potions, better ones than those, so let's do it. Yeah, corruption is useless right now. I hate that it is, like, how did you design this? Oh, it, it bothers me. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that demon is quite perceptive. Very well. No, okay, well, I guess I just cannot use abilities. Out of frenzy. My turn again. They don't see me. I hope it's not immune to fire. Oh, you have better. Alright, good. Um, they're immune to acid though, so there's not much to do. You know what, Chev Charm? I'm hiding. You can't see me. Okay, I guess you can. <laughs> Parry that fire. That's how you do it. Alright, gonna get in your face. Gonna use this. Hopefully he's not immune. Of course he is. Of course that happened. Alright. Oh, hello. Thankfully, I can resist most of your garbage. Um, I don't think I can reach him. Let's just kill both of those that are in my face. There we go. Ow. Please don't kill me. Missed. Um, I have a teleport if I need it. Hmm. Let's use the heal, because I can, and kill you. Dazed? That's not good, but they're on top of me now. Maybe just attack? I should have frenzied. I can. Ow. Uh, get wrecked. 
That spell is essential to my survival. Cannot do this part without this, because they rendered my ultimate completely useless in this part. Cannot believe they did this. Oh, speed of frenzy, yeah. That's also quite necessary. One thing at a time. Hmm. I'm not sure that's particularly... I don't think that's something I necessarily should be doing right now, but I'm doing it anyway. So, have it on getting attacked. Someone dares. Well, obviously someone was going to. That was pretty obvious it was building up to that. Steel breastplate, steel halberd. He possibly died fighting. Good for him. I mean, he didn't survive, which is unfortunate, but at least he tried, right? Are we trying to make it over here? I think it's time for another quick save. Miranda. We did have... You know, I did have suspicions at one point. The way she was just dismissing Wayfarer as something unimportant. No, it's important to know how he knew there that, because that means there's a spy here. That was her, obviously. Well, it makes sense. I just quick saved, right? Right. At last, you find a familiar face. Very familiar. Hot Miranda is here, standing next to a portal. Through the portal, you can see a faint cityscape of old buildings and tall, elegant spires. And yet, like everything else you have seen, something is not right here. Miranda is wearing traveling clothes and a thick leather cloak. She holds a bulging satchel in one hand and a wand in the other. There are two dead servants in the room, a hand and an eye. Oh. As you approach her, she watches you warily. Ah, simplicity, you have returned to Avedon. Perhaps not too late, either. You have arrived in interesting times, times when things can change very quickly. Hmm. Well, we did discover in the underground that she tried to betray once and was caught. Actually, she changed her heart. Pun almost intended, but not quite. I thought of it as I was saying it. I was like, well, I guess I did a pun. Um... Anyway, uh, she, ch she had to change her heart. She told uh, Redbeard of the conspiracy, but then he was really harsh on her as well, even though she decided to stay loyal, so I guess she switched again. Hmm. Randall, what happened here? An attack! The assassins came in the middle of the night. Some Avedon warriors were traitors, and they allowed the assassins entry. At least, that is my guess. Then, oddly, she smiles. I have been avoiding the invaders. I had much to do. Who killed these two people? Oh, assassins, no doubt. This is, that is the sort of thing that has been happening in your absence. You're going somewhere. When she speaks again, it is in her sharpest, most commending voice. Do not interrog interrogate me, Han. It is I who needs answers from you. We did get word from Duke Griffin about the accusations against you and your flight into the woods. Now you have returned. Tell me what happened to Duke Griffin. I don't trust you right now, so I'm going to report to Redbeard. He's trapped in his tower. We've heard nothing from him. He may be wounded or dead. You will report to me. Whether she's a traitor or not, I don't see a um, point to hiding the fact that Griffin is dead. If you try to kill the king, he is, it is a very good idea not to miss. He let you escape and he paid the price. And tell me this, did you find any evidence indicating who is responsible for the attacks against Avedon? At least I'm sorry if I tell you anything else, because I don't trust you. Oh, I will tell you all you want to know very soon. Have no worries. However, you must first finish your report. No choice to be stupid, then. I'm sure that the assassins have done a very good job of hiding all evidence. This is significant. I have but one more question, and then I will know what I need to. What is it? The way Pharaoh was going to track you down to the Barraza Woods. It was chaotic. His success was far from assured. Did he find you, and what happened? 
she was indeed the one informing us. That does explain why she downplayed Wayfarers and its significance and all this. I did have that suspicion the whole time, though. <clears throat> Wait, how do you know of the Wayfarer? Simple child, you think a mysterious stranger could track under my hands for months without me knowing, without my permission? Answer my question. Um... I mean, I listened, but I didn't really listen, so is it really a lie? I'm starting to not like Heart Miranda. Let's just not lie, though, as a principle, because I haven't done that the entire game, I think. No, actually, one time I did lie, because I said I assassinated that one mage and I didn't. The Wayfarer thought you might be turned away from Avedon. He took a great risk tracking you down, and it clearly did not pay off for him. I mean, though she seems lost in thought, you know that she's edging closer and closer to the portal. Valuable information. That is all I need to know from you. There are now things that I need to know. You start to ask me around that question when you look at the portal again. You recognize the buildings on the other side. You have never been in Tower Empire, the largest and most powerful of the Far Lands, but you have seen drawings of the cities there. Proud, crumbling, large, built from stone. The portal now leads to one of them, with its distinctive marble halls and the elegant spires. You look from the spires to Miranda. The one in her hand now points at you. There is no trace of a smile on her face. Turn aside your wand, Miranda. You don't want to do this. I do, though. <laughs> I think not. You're too dangerous and unpredictable. Whatever your plans. My work in Avedon is done. I am taking my records, and I am leaving. The Black Fortress can crumble into dust for all I care. Why are you betraying Avedon? Avedon? A thousand curses on its names. When I th came here with my husband, we thought to be loyal servants. Then we saw the corruption. We saw how distant and arbitrary Redbeard has had become. I was still content to serve, loyal but with regret. My poor, foolish husband was more idealistic. What happened? He tried to kill Redbeard. He failed. I was forced to renounce my darling before his eyes, and Redbeard had him killed. To save my own life, I swore total loyalty to Redbeard. I groveled. I abased myself when I dreamed of revenge. Yeah, well, we figured. So you're behind all this. Don't be foolish. I have uh, I have been very valuable, but I am not the source of the attacks against the pack. I've been a useful tool to have those enemies, and no more. Yeah, this does not surprise me, either. It is orchestrated somewhere in the Taiwan Empire. Do you know who did this, then? The Farlands, the enemies of the Pact, the oppressed, who are going to crush Avedon into dust and win their freedom from the Pact's rule. Those who tolerated all of the corruption, the cruelty, the deaths of those who would make things better, they will all pay. And why are you telling me all this? Not because I like to talk, I tell you because you are my special creation. You are groomed by me to see all of the weaknesses of Avedon. In you, I saw the potential, at last the true potential. Another red beard? Really? Uh, at least to kill him, apparently. Potential to strike down red beard at last! Potential to become keeper! Keeper simply said it. You could do it, I thought, if you were properly pushed, surrounded by potential traitors, tempted and taught by the wayfarer. Surprisingly strikes true. Uh, you know, my all four of my characters when it comes down to it, I was mentioning that about their loyalty missions. Where those missions, in one way or another, made them realize that they didn't like Avedon very much. But if you completed it to their satisfaction, they liked you and so became loyal to you before Avedon. Right? I mentioned that. That was interesting writing. And it's interesting that she says, I put those people with you because those would join you in a possible rebellion and she was right interesting i mean of course it works out because story was written but i just find that interesting right an interesting spin surrounded by traitors 
I gathered all of the hands of the most dubious loyalty, the ones with the greatest grudges against Avalon, parted them with you. Your friends are not powerful enough to change anything, too arrogant or inept or confused. Indeed. Their purpose was to shake your loyalty, or if nothing else, to show you the true nature of Redbeard's power. She was correct. Like, Nathalie's powerful, but too arrogant to be anything special, right? She's of the righteous, self-righteous kind. Jenna kind of like that as well. She has ideals and she's going to have a hard line on them, no matter what. <laughs> she went, I mean, yeah, yeah let's just not get into um, Janelle. And then the other two were kind of betrayed by Avedon, where Avedon protects the people that wronged them and they feel betrayed because of that. Um, just the way it goes. So the ladies are self-righteous, and the boys are feeling betrayed. So sullen. <laughs> it's funny. So you sent the wear of Wayfarer. He is one of the most loyal and effective servants of the enemies of Avedon. My, at my suggestion, he was sent to instruct you to just in just how corrupt Avedon was. He tried to teach you how much the Black Fortress misuses its power, but I never did those quests because I was suspicious of those. What do you want, Miranda? I've seen how well you fight, how much cunning you have, how much skill. I want you to take the power you deserve, that you were destined to have. Redbeard is up there now, up in his tower. He may be dead, but knowing how hardy that old servant is, probably not. You must go up there and strike him down. Become the Keeper. Isn't this just a trick to weaken it further? Perhaps. It will weaken Avalon in the short term while you consolidate your power, and yet in the long run, it might be the thing that saves Avalon. Oh, you truly think I can succeed? I think you have a good chance, as, is pos as good chances as possible. Redbeard has been thrown off balance. You can take him by surprise. What do you want, Avalon, with a new keeper? The pact as it exists now is doomed. However, Avalon might be useful to a new or reduced pact. I hate Redbeard, but I still care about the people he failed to look after. You don't care enough to avoid doing it this way, but uh, that's a whole nother debate, isn't it? Mm. No, I'm gonna stick to my guns so far. I'm loyal to him. Then my noble effort to turn you has failed. <laughs> noble, easy to say. We have plenty. Oh well, we have plenty of other ways to destroy the old tyrant. We will manage. What will you do now? Escape. <laughs> yeah, right. I will leave for my new home in the Farlands. We will work to destroy Avedon and slay Redbeard if he lives. My vengeance has only just begun. Do I care? I think I care in this case. Wayfarer is a tool in most ways. Miranda, not as much. Like, Wayfarer is more of a, a messenger, if you will. She's not quite the one that organizes everything, but she is central to it anyway. And I think my character does feel betrayed by her to some extent. I think I'm just going to take offense to that. You try to take Hot Miranda by surprise. It doesn't work. She raises her wand and edges of her closer to the portal that can carry her to safety. Thought we might turn you, that you might replace Redbeard. Keep her simplicity instead. You're as servile as the others. Servile. Oh, we do get to fight. Interesting. Well, first things first. I think we're going to need some frenzy. Health. Healthy dose of frenzy. Well, she's got the frenzy going. Um, I'm gonna increase our resistances. How do you feel about ice? It does decent damage. And snare the knockback. Please don't do that again. My god. Thank god I can attack from very far away because. <clears throat> Thank god I can attack from very far away because otherwise this would be. This would be a little difficult, wouldn't it? Get corrupted, please. Nice. 
<laughs> Do you just refuse to move? That's weird. Can I reach you? Nice. You managed to land a solid blow on Miranda. She seems slightly dazed and blood starts to flow. She looks down at it with disbelief. What am I doing? My days of battle are long past and you are truly dangerous. Nah, I will lead you later. Deal with you later. She allows herself to fall backwards through the portal. Moments after she vanishes, the field of energy begins to warp and flicker. The city within fades away. Following her through the portal is impossible. Miranda's gone. You suddenly feel a great need to find Redbeard. He is most likely to be in his tower. Indeed, well, we saw that coming. Somewhat. <sighs> what time is it? <laughs> High time for me to end it. Alright, well, that was one plot point dealt with. Suppose we're gonna move on and try to get to Redbeard next. Maybe I could try to find my friends, but I don't know where or how I would do that. Anyway, oh, that might be useful for later. Next time, probably trying to get to Redbeard, or we explore the place and see if we can find our uh, friends. I think I might just swing by uh, over here because Sevelyn's quarters are right here. And it's kind of on the way to Redbeard's place. So, you know... If Sevelyn's in his quarters, I know I'm going to find Janelle in her quarters as well. Anyway, we're going to see about that next time. Until then, see y'all.